Okay, third grade, this is Tuesday's math lesson. We are on lesson 1.5. This lesson begins on page 29 in your Go Math books. I would suggest that you follow along in your book and just use it to help you as you do your homework today. So we are now using math properties to add. You probably saw the word algebra and thought, oh no, it's really not as bad as you think, I promise. So remember we learned about the commutative property of addition uh, probably sometime last week. It was one of the first lessons you did. So remember, commutative property, that's the property where we switch numbers around like this. 16 plus 9 is also equal to 9 plus 16. We are adding another one, the associative property of addition. So the associative property of addition states that you can group add-ins in different ways and still get the same sum. This is very similar to the commutative property, but it's got a difference. It is also called the grouping property. So these two are not the same. The thing that makes them different is, look at how many numbers there are. There are three. There are three add-ins instead of two. Okay, and this property also involves parentheses. Okay, so if you look here, we're adding 16 plus 7 plus 23. And then over here, they're adding 16 plus 7 plus 23, but they're grouping them differently. Over here, we have 16 and 7 in the parentheses. And then over here, we've got 7 and 23 in the parentheses. So... But either way, these three numbers are going to add up to be the same sum. Okay, so you're going to see this in action and unlock the problem. All right, Mrs. Gomez sold 23 cucumbers. So I'm going to circle my numbers. 38 tomatoes and 42 peppers at the farmer's market. How many vegetables did she sell in all? Okay. So I see the word sell in all and I know that means I am adding. So we are adding 23 plus 38 plus 42. All right, it's really hard to add them like this, right? So best thing to do, and I will always tell you to do this, is stack them just like they did below. Okay, so you're going to learn on about how you can group numbers together to make them easier to add. So you don't have to add them in order, right? You can switch them around, and we know that you can do that because the associative property tells us that it doesn't matter what order they're in, you will still get the same sum. So we're going to think, how can I order my numbers so that way they make these nice, easy, friendly numbers. And I always think immediately, I want to make 10. And you'll see me say that a lot on your homework. How can you make 10? So I'm looking at my list of numbers here and I immediately see eight and two. I know that makes 10. So I wanna make sure that those numbers are together. Okay, and then over here, you see what they did? They make these lines. I, I like to do that too with bigger numbers. It just helps me make it easier for adding. So that's what they do. They make tens and then they add the rest, right? So over here they make 10 and then they add three, get 13. And then over here they make fives. So two plus three is five. And then four plus one is five, five and five make 10. So this is just another strategy you can use when adding multiple numbers that makes it easier to add. Okay, I'm gonna be going to page 30 now. Okay, so we're doing this again. We are adding 
36 plus 37 plus 51. And once again, we're looking for ways to make it easier to add. So we stack them up right here. And then over here, look what they do. 37 and 51, why would they add these? Well, you could add those in your head without regrouping, right? You don't have to carry anything. So already this is so much easier to add because now you only have to worry about two numbers, right? So 36 and 88. So that would be six plus eight is 14. I'm gonna drop my four, carry my one. One plus three is four. Four plus eight is 12. So our answer is 124. See, there's all these little different ways to make it easier to add all these numbers. You just have to look for them. You have to get creative sometimes. All right, now let's try this. We're adding 11 plus 16 plus 19 plus 14. Oh boy, now we got four numbers. All right, so let's look at what they did. We're using the commutative property of addition to change the order. So over here we have 11 plus 16 plus 19 plus 14, and look what they did. They changed the order so that way you can make 10. So nine and one make 10, six and four make 10. So already this column is so much easier to add, right? So you're going to get 10 plus 10 is 20. Carry your 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 2 is 60. All right. Now, over here, we're doing find 17 plus parentheses 33 plus 45. So one thing I want to tell you right now, don't let parentheses like this throw you off, you're still gonna add normally. The parentheses doesn't change that. It just makes it look cleaner. So now we're gonna use the associative property of addition to change the grouping. So what they did was they put 17 and 33 together because, well, for one, seven and three does make 10, but because these are friendlier numbers, you can add them in your head. So you know seven plus three makes 10, and then all you have to do is carry one, three plus two is five, that's how they got 50. And wow, yeah, 50 plus 45 is way easier to add in your head, isn't it? So you're gonna get 95. Okay, so all this is, it's just grouping numbers in such a way to make them easier to add. All right. So now on Share and Show, we're going to find the sum and write the addition property that you used. So looking at this, it looks to me like they're changing the order. So this is the original order right here. And now we are going to group them in such a way that it makes it easier to add. So I can see six plus four makes 10. Okay, so then all I have to do is add 10 plus five. Oh, look, they, they had a box all made for me and I just ignored it. All right, so what I'm seeing here, oh yeah, so 46 and 24, that's easy to add because six and four make 10. So you end up with 70 over here. Now you can just add 55 plus 70 and that gets us 125. So what we just did, that was the commutative property of addition. All right, now I'm gonna go to the next page. Okay, so Basically, what you need to take away from this lesson is that, you know, look for ways when you have big, long lists of numbers like this, look for ways to make it easy. Look for numbers like 
seven and three for one, that makes 10. So immediately when I see long list numbers like this, I look for that. What two numbers make 10? So that's really all we are doing today. I'm going to look at one of our word problems here. Let's do number six. Go deeper. There was a food drive at the school fair. Two local grocery stores each donated, so each and two, donated 75 boxes of pasta and 30 cans of soup. How many packages of food did both stores donate all together? So all together, that means we're gonna be adding, hmm, so this one, remember what I said yesterday? You kind of have to be a detective to do these problems. You have to look at these little details because some of us might just look at this and think, well, I see the numbers 75 and 30, and I know I'm supposed to add, so I'm just gonna add those two numbers. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Because there are two local grocery stores each donating this. So what do you gotta do? Well, you gotta add these guys twice, okay? So I have one local grocery store donating this, okay? And then I have another one doing the same thing. Oops, sorry, I don't know why I did a line. 75 plus 30 and then 75 plus 30. So I could add all four together. That's one way you could do it, 75 plus 75 plus 30 plus 30. But the way I see it, I could just do it this way because these, these guys look a little bit friendlier to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve one. So five plus zero is five, seven plus three is 10. That's 105. Well, I know that we did this twice, so I'm gonna just add 105 plus 105. Five plus five is 10, carry my one. Okay, so we donated 210 packages of food all together. So one thing I, I have been saying a lot, label your answers, because if I just write 210, 210 what? Yeah, that could be anything. You have to be specific. So make sure you're labeling. So 210 packages. Okay, so that's it for the lesson. Now, in your It's Learning assignment, I do take properties out of these homework pages, and this is exactly what your third grade teachers are signing in class. So please make sure you are submitting these assignments to keep up with what your third graders, your fellow third graders are doing here in school. Okay, so Make sure you do those four problems that are on the It's Learning assignment and don't forget to hit the submit button.